Remember a few years ago, it looked like gazillions of grasshoppers swarmed Las Vegas. It looked like, I don't know, a plague of locusts from Exodus. Well, now, thanks to meteorologists yeah. and scientists, we are learning more about how many of these things there were and maybe why they went into Vegas. Let's get yeah. to Dave o, the Science Pro, to explain. Hey. Well, first of all, who doesn't want to go hang out in Vegas? Well, there's that. I mean, everybody wants to hang out in Vegas. But, you know, we in the weather world uh, rely on radar, specifically, you know, do, you know, where is it raining, where is it snowing, where is the sleet, so on and so on. But other things can be detected by radar as well. So here is a radar picture from back in 2019 in Vegas. Now, if you just look at that, you go, oh, it's raining. And no big deal, they're getting some rain in Vegas. But no, folks, once they determined all of those echoes, the greens, and even especially where the yellows are, biological, okay, these were insects that were milling around in and around Las Vegas. And just unreal. So they detected these biological insects and determined, of course, to be grasshoppers. They had all these grasshoppers moving in. Once they realized there were some 45 million, give or take a million grasshoppers, okay, moving into Vegas at night. Here's what happened. First of all, it had been a very wet spring. They had had close to their yearly rainfall in just six months, which helped to breed these grasshoppers. But what people don't understand, or maybe you do know or don't, that Las Vegas is hands down the brightest city on the planet by a large margin satellite you can see the light from vegas by satellite it is so bright so the insects or the grasshoppers in this case were oh. lured in by this dome of light in las vegas now they weren't harmful they didn't hurt anything i mean they were a mess to clean up and a lot of them unfortunately died right there in the city not being able to get back out into the country but it was a twofold thing it was the above normal rainfall that they had and it was the bright lights of las vegas in general that attracted this plume of grasshoppers you can see the light from las vegas russell 200 miles away so therein lies the problem and I think you're going to see more and more of this, maybe not grasshoppers, maybe ladybugs, maybe other types of bugs, but they're drawn to light. And with us getting brighter and brighter right. and brighter lights in some of these bigger cities, we're attracting a lot of these insects into these cities where they unfortunately die. So light pollution is becoming a serious problem in the U.S. And this is just one example. But it was nothing out of exodus or apocalyptic or anything like that. It really had to do with the above normal rainfall and the lights. And quickly, by the way, you've heard of the cicadas that come out every 17 yeah. years? They're coming, the aren't they? The biggest brood of cicadas are getting ready to emerge from New York to Georgia. These is the largest brood of all of them. And we're going to be hearing a lot more about that in the next few weeks, too. Okay. Thank you.